Much too sad to be told. <laughs> but practically everything leaves me totally cold. You gotta listen, the door's locked. Okay. <laughs> the only exception I know is the case. When I'm out on a quiet spree, oh, no, all the time somebody's sleeping back there. <laughs> Fighting mainly the old ennui. <laughs> Get 
from champagne. <laughs> thrill me alcohol that can thrill you. <laughs> I don't believe a it word of that. <laughs> and I get a kick out of you. Some like the perfume from Spain. <laughs> I'm sure that if I took even one sniff, why it would bore me to rip Thickly too Yet I get a A kick out of you It's a long one, isn't it? I get a kick wet Every time I see You standing there Before I get a kick Though it's clear to see that you obviously you do not adore me. I get no kick in a plane made flying too high with some gal in the sky. Someone who shut your back on your heel. Goody, goody. Met someone, and now you know how it feels. Goody, goody. So you gave her your heart, too, just as I gave mine to you. And she broke it in little pieces. Now, how do you do? That love's a barrel of dynamite. Where did you get the stuff? Hooray and hallelujah. Yeah, well, keep the dishes Come yeah, on the show. Coming, coming through. Goody, goody for her. Goody, goody for me. And I hope you're satisfied, you rascal, you. When you see a guy reach for stars in the sky, you can bet that he's doing it for some dog when you spot a john waiting out in the rain chances are he's insane as only a john can be for the chain when you see a gem paying all kinds of rent for a flat that would flatten the Taj Mahal Ken got me for Christmas. A color TV set that cost him $49. Now, every Monday, I watch Green Skelton. <laughs> we couldn't make believe we're nudists. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go to the cow shop. Before I go, remember the famous words of Herbert Hoover, who once said, show me a man who gets up with the roosters I'll show you a sex maniac. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Probably the toughest night of the year to get a date. But now, thanks to modern science, there's no need for anybody to be alone. Just watch these two fellas and you'll see what I mean. Uh, excuse me, buddy. Have you seen a young lady around here? No, I haven't. Well, I made a date uh, to a computer dating service. We're supposed to meet here. No kidding, really? Well, I'm, I'm waiting for a computer date myself. See, I can't wait to see my date. I, I told the computer exactly what a kind of girl I wanted. And what did the computer do? It washed my mouth out with soap. <laughs> <laughs> really, this is my big night. The computer says it could find somebody whose personality and tastes and interests are just what I asked for. She's supposed to be wearing a badge with the number J49. The computer said my date was supposed to be wearing R85? No offense, fella, but I think there's been some mistake. <laughs> Either that or we've been using Liberace's computer. <laughs> Old Saturday night shot. <laughs> what a drag. Nothing personal. Look, I even... Bought flowers. Uh, hey, you might as well have them. I got no one else to give them to. <laughs> How sweet. <laughs> They're my favorite roses. Beautiful. Well, I guess you might as well have these, because I don't know what else to do with them. You're a genius. <laughs> How'd you know? Darn that computer. I can't understand it. Said I'd found someone with everything I wanted. Brown hair, fair complexion, and blue eyes. Well, as a matter of fact, <clears throat> I happen to have brown hair, fair complexion, and very blue eyes. <laughs> They're awfully blue, aren't they? <laughs> what a mess. I went and paid 50 bucks to the computer. I, I went out and bought a new suit. I'm so mad I could... How tall are you? Five foot nine. With or without heels? Well, only my draft board knows that for sure. <laughs> hmm. I'm sorry, fella. I just, I'm just so angry, I, I can't think straight. I had such a great evening planned. Candle... <laughs> Candlelight dinner at Antoine's, dancing at the Starlight Terrace, and then back to my place for a nightcap. How many children do you want to have? <laughs> Three. Just what I wanted, one of each. <laughs> well, what are the three qual uh, qualities you can consider most important in a date? 38, 24, 38. <laughs> you know, this is kind of weird. I mean, if you were a girl, I could probably go for you, darn it. <laughs> Why aren't you a girl? Why aren't you a girl? If you don't know that, and it shouldn't make any difference. <laughs> You even got the kind of sense of humor I like. <laughs> I can't figure it out. My friend Norman used a s the same dating service last week. Norman? Norman, yes. I know her well. Yeah, you, you should have seen the girl the computer sent him. Talk about stacked. Oh, she was built like a... Do you like the tango? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Get up. 
you guys are coming with us. Well, what, what, what are you taking us to jail? No, heck no, to the policeman's ball. Oh. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. Oh, he's yes. Right. Yes, Frank. I thought, yes, that's right. Do you know what, what you want to do tonight? You know, it's uh, getting well, I, I don't. I, I know what. I just don't know who. <laughs> Excuse me. It's a family show, isn't it? Family, family show. show, yes. Well, I'll tell you. Ken Lane's throwing a New Year's Eve party, and we're invited. He said there'll be some gravy girls there. That's groovy girls. Groovy girls. girls. <laughs> I know Ken. There'll be gravy girls there. <laughs> No, I don't think I can make that. I don't have a thing to wear. I never stopped you before. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'm ready. Let's get ready to go. If you don't sit still for your haircut, you won't get the lollipop. Go out there, Ken. Yes, I see you. Oh, it's you. Billy Marvin, dear. Who is this? I'm a, well, this is my friend here. This is my friend Frank Sinatra. Oh, how'd you do, Mr. Sinister? <laughs> I'm just getting my candy ready for the party. You're a little bit early. I'm not finished yet. But come in, sit down. Oh, no, not there. That's for company, please. <laughs> Hi, Dean. Hi, Frank. Hello, Kenny. Oh, how are you? How are you? Nice. Sitting on the party again, huh? <laughs> Tell me, are you in show business, too? Are you kidding? Frank, Mrs. Lane, Frank, show, show them your, show them your doobie doobie doo. Mom. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Would you get your mind out of the gutter? No, Mrs. Lane, what Dean means is that I sing just like him. Oh, well, you have my deepest sympathy. Oh. Well, it's going to be a lovely party tonight. Some very nice girls are coming. Did you have any trouble getting enough girls, uh, Kenny? Oh, uh -huh. Of course not. Girls okay. are crazy about Kenny. All he has to do is call them. Yeah, Ken sure has a way with call girls. <laughs> I'd tell you to go jump in the lake, but I think you'd cause an oil slick. <laughs> Frankie? Frankie, do you go out with girls yet? Uh, no, ma'am. I'm saving myself. <laughs> when you get married. No, huh? for when he gets divorced. <laughs> Marvin, if the Pope knew you were Italian, he'd turn Jewish. <laughs> you know, Kenny, I think we're all finished now, but you know, maybe we ought to wash it, dear. Well, give it to me. I'll drop it off at the cleaners. <laughs> Why don't you drop your mind off at the cleaners <laughs> while you're at it? Now, Frankie, don't you worry about the girls. You'll be perfectly safe. I'm your chaperone. Well, what's a chaperone? <laughs> oh, Frank, picture Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice with Billy Graham sitting in the middle. <laughs> oh. oh, that must be Kenny's oh, girl. Oh, happy here. Hello, dear. Hello. 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 Hi. 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 I'm Monique. I'm Ken Date. Hi, I'm Ken. <laughs> well, uh, you got five minutes, then I'm Ken. <laughs> Kenny! Monique, darling. Hi. <laughs> they make a lovely couple, huh? She sure does. <laughs> well, I really am glad we, we came tonight. Usually on New Year's Eve, I have a little get-together at my place. Oh. Yeah, it's this uh, annual affair. Oh, you're slowing down, huh? <laughs> that must be the other girl. Oh, look at it. Look at it. All right. Look, look at it. I don't even know what they are. Thank you, Mr. Marvin. I want you to meet Kenny's sister. This is Shirley, and this is no, her Shirley. girlfriend, Gladys. Why don't you pick and see who gets who? Gee, what a shame. We don't have a coin to flip. <laughs> Here. Okay, Frank, what do you want? Heads or tails? 
Judging by their heads, neither. <laughs> All right. I'll take a shot with it. I'll take tails. Okay. Heads, I win. You get both of them. I think I'd better let the girls choose. Shirley, why don't you pick, huh? That's right. Get ready. <laughs> the ugly one. All right, now, let's start the party. What shall we do first, huh? Oh, should I blow up some more balloons? <laughs> no, I think you've got plenty. <laughs> Over my dead body. <laughs> Whatever turns you on. I have an idea. Let's play past the apple, huh? Come on, Monique. Put this apple under your chin, and Frankie, you can hear, and you must get Monique's apple under your chin. But you can't eat no hands. You can't use your hands. Can he use my hand? No, we don't know where they've been, Mom. I can't use my hands? No, dear, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, do we have to play this game standing up? <laughs> Only if you want to stay out of prison. <laughs> oh, the apple dropped. I, I guess the game's over. Good, let's go to the shower. <laughs> okay. It's almost 12 o'clock. Come on, everybody. Let's go over to the piano. And Kenny, yeah. you'll play something, huh? Yeah, we'll play. Should all acquaintances be forgotten? Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Frankie. Happy New Year. A very Happy New Year. Oh, 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 Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. From the mozzarella room of the Canaloni Hilton, high atop Sherwood Kirby, overlooking a mugging, just two miles from downtown Fresno, the provolone capital of the world. And now to help bring in the new year, here is our all-girl orchestra asking the musical question, Opus One. to the microphone, direct from the three-month tour of his wine cellar, the baritone of the breweries, Mr. Blinky Tomlin. Now I'll give you my affection, can change my complexion from rose to whitey red. And the time she holds my hand, and tells me that she's fine. Oh, thank you, and now here's Miss Peggy Lynn. I remember when I was a little girl, I fell in love with the most wonderful boy in the world. I remember the first time he took me to his apartment. He kissed my hand, he kissed my shoulder, he kissed my face, he kissed me and kissed me again and again until finally I looked up into his eyes and I said, is that all there is? Is that all there is? If that's all there is? Hollywood. First, let me introduce my
my good friend, Cary Grant. Oh, Judy, 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 you gave me your arm, you gave me your lips, you gave me your soul, but the good stuff you kept for yourself. Judy, here's one of my closest friends, Mr. James Cagney. Warden, I'm not going in that room, see? I'm not going in that room. What's that ladies' room? <laughs> What's call it? You dirty, lovely rat. <laughs> you're going to hear from Rhett Butler. Whether you like it or not, you're going to hear from Rhett Butler. Go ahead, Rhett. Yeah, I, I'm Scarlet. You can stay with the South, but I'm joining the Union. I got this, Scarlet, because it pays 60 20 an hour. I'd like to have you meet Mr. Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> All right, Sam, play it again. <laughs> One more time, Sam, play it again. You're gonna have to keep playing it, Sam, till you learn it, see? <laughs> It's really exciting, isn't it? And the real biggie is yet to come. Right off the sound stage is over at Biograph. We invited, just for New Year's Eve, the world's greatest comedian, Mr. Charles Chaplin. <laughs> Thank you. 